customer just picked up the SVJ. He's very happy with it. Ooh, uh, it's been, yeah, LA's crazy. He's like, ooh, Ferrari. That was actually Lamborghini. But anyways, uh, yeah, LA's crazy. Just picked up the car. He's happy with the exhaust. It's been a couple of our YouTube videos. Uh, you guys probably seen it, but yeah, uh, another happy customer by RDBLA. Hey guys, so in back of me, we have a 2019 Range Rover. This was involved in a very heavy accident. The whole front is gone. The right side is actually worse. There's a lot of mechanical stuff that we're changing. If somebody looks at the car, you don't even know what kind of car it is in this angle, but it's a 2019 Range Rover. It's gonna be all brand new parts. We're changing everything right now. We'll walk through this side here. I'll show you guys some of the mechanical parts that needs to be changed. Radiators, hose, it's pretty much all gonna change. These plastic pieces, we look at them one by one, get the part numbers and we order them. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. It's not a quick job. We're on track. We're gonna get this thing back to new. We'll show you guys when we get some updates. I'm gonna show you guys the old part that was broken. The part in my hand is the new part. So I'll explain to you where it goes and show you guys the old and the new. It doesn't go there, I'm just putting it here for a second. Here's the old radiator support. As you can tell, it's broken from here. Thank you, Carlos, take that. And here is the new one. Brand new from the dealer. It's a little dusty because it's been sitting in dust. You know, this is the body shop area. There's a lot of Bondo. How much does that cost? Sorry, kid. How much does it cost? So what Sarkis is telling me, this is about $800. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over the invoice and we're gonna check to see if this is $800. I'm pretty sure it's way less, but. Sarkis, are you making money off of me? Why? It's probably 500 bucks and he's saying 800 is gonna pop it to 300, but it's okay. Now let's go check how much that is, how much the old part is. Mom doesn't know anything about cars. So this is the piece you guys are looking for and price for this is seven thirty ninety five. But usually when you say seven thirty ninety five, it's like forty dollar more or fifty dollar more with the Ranger. The system always updates. How much money told you guys? How much was it? No, you didn't know how much it was. Yeah, yeah that's what he asked you. Yeah, you because he doesn't know anything about cars. <laughs> Because it's low, it was at low. <laughs> Say what's happening today, Sarkis. Vic is not here. And it's so good. Good? Really? Yeah. Oh, you're dead. What Tell you me it's not true. Tell me it's not true. Look at this. Oh, yeah, the chain? <laughs> the brake rotors. We're doing front rotors, we're doing tires on this car. Wow, the good old young days. You look the same. They actually look sunburned. The young days. Because we broke my bike. We have a Tesla here. This car belongs to one of our good friends. He came in here, tire pressure was low. So we checked his tires and very, very lucky, you know, nothing really happened. But as you guys can see, the metal belts are all out of the tires already. He took it too far, honestly, which is very dangerous. So yeah, it's good to always, you know, inspect your tires every now and then. Because sometimes you never know. You can end up like this and get into an accident. You can have a blowout on the street, big problem. So we have a new set of Pirellis here right now. We're going to go ahead and install them, balance them, put them back on the car. We have to do an alignment on the vehicle to make sure the same problem doesn't happen again. And then he's back on the road, safe and sound. So, as you guys know, we had the other older machines at the other shop. I wanted Santos to, you know, work in luxury and be more easier for him. The company 
got these new machines. This machine does everything. It's a really nice Corgi machine Santos is working on. This thing does everything. It literally lifts the tire, puts the tire on the machine for you. You can do just about any size you want on this thing. Breaking the bead of the tire is so much easier. This machine has a lot of functions that make it so, so easy for the installer, the tire mounter, and all that stuff to make sure everything's done properly. And the most important is this machine will not damage wheels. So expensive wheels, anything that's custom, this is designed not to damage anything uh, versus you know the older machines that are very hard to work with. But Santos is good at what he does. He used to work on the older machines and put 24s on, on the older machine. So, wanna hear something funny? The first week I started working at the other shop, I broke down the machine over there. Broke it? Yeah, it broke. I don't yeah. know what I oh, did. Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember. Yeah. I'm not sure how much this machine was, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was close to around maybe about $15,000 maybe, about 15 grand. Yeah, so anywhere from 13 to 15, I think. This is a beast. This machine does everything. It's a monster. David! Where's David? Can't find them all over the shop. I'm too old to be walking up these stairs. Okay. My legs hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts, my head hurts. All right, so we do keep a lot of the uh, the wheels and tires and storage stuff for customers that don't take their stuff home. So yeah, we do store everything here. But one of the main reasons why I come here a lot throughout the day is to check on one of our employees named David. David is a very funny character. He has a weird thing, like he'll come up here and he'll be asleep from like 11 to 12 o'clock lunchtime and he'll disappear until about 5 p.m., 4 p.m. So if you want to find him, he's usually in a box. And he made a box for him and this, this is the reason why we never throw away this box is because it's his personal bed at work. So, so this, is where, <laughs> this is where he sleeps. As you guys can see, he's made a bed for himself. Look at this. So this is his pillow, as you guys can see. He has a lot of cushioning there as he put there, so he sleeps nicely so his body doesn't hurt this is his pillow that goes right here and as soon as he sleeps in here he covers himself with this which pays a lot of money for it. and uh yeah he just lays down he sleeps and we're so busy down there we're working we're trying our best to have a successful day so yeah a lot of the times we do forget that we have an employee that's knocked out on the second floor of the building so yeah that's another thing that we need to do is have David on our mind because sometimes he does come up here and uh, he likes to sleep. But he's probably one of the hardest workers here that we have. David is very special and important to us. Yeah, because he's very good. But he just has a sleeping problem. Let's go see where he's at. Oh, we're gonna go to the bed. So now explain to them. What do I gotta explain? I take a lunch break, I go upstairs, I lay down, okay. I'm comfortable. So this is David, you guys. He's a very hard worker. We love him. He does good. <laughs> he likes to sleep. He goes up. He goes up to the second. I, I call it the second floor. Whatever. I call it storage home. Storage home. Fine. So you like to just hang out there at lunchtime and just knock out. Right? I don't Netflix. knock out every time. I mean, sometimes I just go and lay down there. But yeah. What's so wrong with that? His lunchtime is is supposedly from twelve to one. But sometimes we lose David and we don't know where he's at. <laughs> so when we want to find him you know where to find them. So we go up there and we see that he's there, you know, and sometimes, you know, the guy just knocks out and he sleeps and he doesn't, you know. There we go. I think it was, it was, I don't know when it was, but I, I know, I know this happened because we were all looking for him once. It was time to go home. It was like five, almost five, five thirty p.m. We went upstairs and David was over there since 12 o'clock. He knocked out and he had a good, you know, good bedtime sleep. So he was, he was good, right? Yeah. That's I David. I worked Saturday after that, so I made over it. <laughs> That's an yeah. Welcome to Life in RGB! Very good! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Here, let me teach you guys how to dribble. Oh man! Whoa! 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 Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!